Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so today's topic wasn't even on my um, using Emacs radar um, up until a couple of days ago. I had no real intention on talking about this topic. Um, but uh, all of a sudden I was playing with a new package and that actually led me, this is actually going to be three videos, probably three videos. Um, this video where I'll talk about the package and um, then the next two videos are going to be a couple of really cool Emacs features that I was that I've been meaning to talk about, um, but I haven't had a, a reason to, I haven't had a platform to, but those two features um, were have been very useful in me configuring what I'm gonna talk about today. So let's get started. So um, I use um, uh, RSS Reader, an RSS Reader, uh, to read a lot of, um, a lot of news to read blogs, a syndicated publishing, etc. So, so here I'm using Feedly. I used to use Google Reader, um, but uh, when Google Reader went away, I had kind of a problem, and I went to Feedly, and I like Feedly. Um, but there were some there were some things that I didn't quite like about it, um, just in terms of the way the mouse interactions work. Nothing big. It's still a really, really, really nice, uh, nice little uh, um, RSS reading platform. Um, and I was thinking, oh, maybe I should write my own, you know, um, I, I've been wanting to play with a couple of new technologies, and uh, um, so I was thinking about that, and then I said, well, before I do that, why don't I, um, why don't I see what Emacs has to offer for this? So, um, so that led me on to a little quest. Now, for those of you that don't know about RSS, the idea is if you go to a blog, so, so some of the blogs that I'll have, I'll have, um, so I follow Diane Ravitch's blog, for example, um, Fred Wilson's blog, uh, you know, some Emacs stuff here, uh, American Civil Liberties Union, XKCD, of course. Um, and you can subscribe to these, and I'm not going to go with, you, you can do a search on this, but I have this set up so I can click subscribe here. I don't even remember how I set this up. I don't even remember how I did this one. Uh, but very frequently, there'll be a way to subscribe to someone's um, this is an email subscription, I guess. No, here, an RSS subscription to AVC, to Fred Wilson's blog. Um, and so I can, um, you know, click on this. I can choose my reader. I can, uh, anyway, you, you can read, just do a search on RSS, um, you know, to figure out what it is. This isn't a video on that. Um, but I wanted to play, see what was there. And so what I discovered, what I discovered in terms of RSS readers for Emacs, there was, um, GNU's, you know, because GNU's reads all sorts of like mail news groups and stuff, and that didn't really do it for me because I never got my head around GNU's. But I found this one, and I'll just do a search for this here, Lfeed, uh, called Lfeed, and um, Lfeed looked really promising. Um, it's got a really nice website, including links to various articles with tips and tricks and things you can do with it. Um, you know, some extensions that you can use with it, uh, then how to get started with it, all sorts of good stuff. So the first thing I did is, um, is I installed Lfeed. So I'm going to do that now. And um, I actually have some of this off screen, some of the code for this. So I'm just going to copy it over. I'll come in here to my configuration file. I made a little Lfeed section here. And that's the first thing. So I'm just going to use the Lfeed package. Um, and I'm going to map a few keys here. I'll, I'll explain what these guys are here. Actually, this one we'll come back to. Uh, for those of you that notice, that's talking about a Hydra. Um, so is this. Uh, we'll come back to that one as well. Um, and because that's one of the things we're going to talk about in the next video, or in the next two videos. Um, so we're going to install it, and we're just going to bind Q and M to these features, these extra features. Again, we'll talk about them in a second. Um, and another package that we're going, that I'm going to install, if you look here, it says, here's how we set up our feeds. And um, this involves setting up some eLisp and stuff, and uh, you can read more about it, but it turns out there's this really, really, really nice package. I'll come over here. Called lfeed.org, which lets you set up an org file for all your feeds. And you'll see here, I also um, have, here's where my feeds are, and I'll show you this file. And the other thing that I'm going to copy over, and so again, excuse me, as I go off screen for a second.
is um, Elfie uses it, puts a database somewhere. Uh, it usually puts it off of your home directory in a hidden directory called .lfeedb. Um, I want it on my Dropbox uh, so I can share this on different sites. Um, so I'm going to save this and I'm going to run this and it should install all of these guys. And what I'm going to also do is I'm going to show you that um, where is it? Dropbox uh, shared lfeed.org and here's what my feeds look like so it's a lot of them they're just org mode links which is really nice and I've tagged them and the tagging will get back to um, we'll use the tagging later on but you'll see that I'm trying to cull my list so active just means I know that I'm reading it um, these are all computer science related links or feeds these are all Emacs these are web comics um, etc et and each of these is just um, it's just a link and so you can see that that's just an org mode link. And in fact, if we come over to here and we look at LFeed org, it has a nice little example. Oh, here's how you would do it without LFeed org. A little bit ugly, you can't you know, you know, collapse and expand, but org mode, bang, much nicer. So anyway, now that I've installed LFeed org and LFeed, I can go meta x LFeed. And I have to run LFeed update, which I will do. And um, that's because this is my first time. I cleaned out my database. And it should take just a little bit of time. And there we go. Um, and so these are all my feeds. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here because, you know, it's pulled everything. It has no database. So I'm going to actually quit out of this for a second. Uh, where am I here? Quit. Uh, it's not using. Oh, oh, quit auto loading. Uh, should be quit. Ah, don't let me quit. It's not letting. Oh, maybe it's in the process of this. So, um, oh, it's it's still working. Let's give us a second to finish all this. You see, that's not really responsive right now because it's it's downloading everything for that very first time. And you'll see that these are all. You know, I got. Um, these are the tags. It's on red. This is in sports. Uh, you know, machine football news, uh, beta beat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Why is quit not working? Oh, right. Because I, I was going to kill this buffer. Well, it's still getting the feeds. And yeah, because I forgot that I bound something to Q that I have not installed yet. So let's go back, to, while that's going, let's go back to here. And you'll see that there's a lot of um, links here for uh, um, tips and tricks, a lot of things here. And if you just read them, this is just the basic stuff there. But um, what I did is I, I just went through these links and I read them. Uh, this one was really helpful, um, but what I found was a few, a few niceties that were very helpful. So I'm just going to copy these over and then we'll go through them. Don't need that anymore. Um, and let's go here. Let's just paste them in here. And these I found under you know a BJM L feed load DB and open. Um, and here we go. And basically, I found these on this site under Pragmatic Emacs, um, linked off of the main page. And this one basically it loads the database when you open it. And I had that bound to um, to the way I'll open it regularly. And this one is what I bound to Q, which didn't exist. So this saves my database whenever I quit. That way, when I go to another machine, I can load it. Um, I also have this I found on Stack Overflow. I just did a search, uh, L feed, mark all is red. I found this useful because since I'm still playing with this, I keep wanting to reset my database and then mark everything up to date um, as being read. And this to toggle a star tag, which is useful. So let's rerun all this. And now the Q key works. Okay, so a couple of things you can do. Um, so we can read these. So I can hit enter and I can read this. That's kind of cool. Um, you know, read this. That's kind of cool. Let's say I'm over here and um, 
I'm on this, I can hit B, and it goes to it in the web browser, which is kind of cool. Um, I can, if you'll notice here, I can mark this as unread, and then that as read using keys there. Um, and this is all kind of useful. Um, so there's a couple of things that to make this even better, because this is still a little intimidating, a little too much, so let me quit. And there's gonna be one more package we're gonna look at for today. And we'll put that in one over here, it doesn't really matter. Let's evaluate this block. And now we run LFeed. It runs LFeed goodies, so let's take a look here. Let's go and look at this block, it doesn't matter which. This one, you see how now it kind of opens it up side by side. I can still hit B to open it um, in a um, in the web browser, uh, but I can do N and previous and stuff like that. Quit back to here, which is kind of nice. Um, and I can even do stuff, the nice thing about the searching for this. So I can search, I can say, I want everything that's unread and web comics. So these are my unread web comics, so bang, I got my XKCD. Um, or I can do search, and I could just use um, Emacs. Now notice that this is giving me not the tag Emacs, but unread anything with Emacs, so it's also giving me this here, which is, um, this is tagged as CS, but not as Emacs. Um, or I can say I want the tag CS, or if I don't want unread, I just want everything from six months ago, regardless, or everything six, you know, et cetera. Um, and that's all kind of cool. So I can even now say LFeed mark all as read. And the G key, actually I don't have this, do I have this bound right now? I don't know if I have this bound just now. Um, so let's, maybe it's still doing it. Oh yeah, it is still doing it. Sorry. Um, all right, so my search is now plus unread. And these are the only ones that are unread. Let's read all these guys. They just came in, I guess. Uh, let's quit. Uh, let's go back to Elfeed, uh, search. Mm, let's look at the... Uh, education tag. Um, I know that's a capital D. We'll get that to tomorrow. But it works really nicely. You can do a lot of nice things here. So let's see. We're up to 12 minutes, a little bit long. So we're going to stop here. My big problem with this, with Elfeed here, is I don't want to have to keep typing in all of these, you know, these tags all the time. I want a quicker way, like over here on Feedly, I have this all sectioned off nicely. Tech, comics, education, blogs, CS. And I couldn't really, out of the box, do that with Elfeed. There are some suggestions over at Pragmatic Emacs. Um, there's a way. There was a way to do it with bookmarks, but that's kind of I have to make a separate function for each of the bookmarks, and that didn't really work for me. Um, so I wanted to try something different, come up with a better way of doing it, and. That's what's going to be talked about in the next couple of videos. So if you use RSS, check out LFeed. Uh, make sure to catch the next two videos regardless. We're going to talk about a couple of really cool Emacs features, um, including a little bit of programming of Emacs. And so that's it. So enjoy.